Hi everyone, welcome to the second demo for Armorsmith. Uh, first up, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that's uh, taken some time and tried out my tool. I uh, really appreciate everybody uh, giving it uh, a test and uh, giving me feedback. I uh, really appreciate all the support and encouragement I've been getting from everybody. It uh, seems like everybody's enjoying it so far. Uh, I also want to give a big shout out to user uh, Imcold on the RPF. He sent me a document today with some research he had done on the PDO file format and uh, it really helped fill in a few blanks on a couple things that I was missing in my own parser. So that's going to be great. It's going to increase the number of uh, PDO files that I can open because uh, some of them just, just crash when you try to open them in here right now. Um, so yeah, that's great. I'm looking forward to implementing those things. Okay, so on with the demo. Uh, so first up is the dummy. So I've added uh, male and female dummies now. Uh, both of them are super work in progress. Um, you can adjust the overall height of the dummy. And you can specify what units you want to work in, uh, whether it's inches, millimeters, uh, percentage off of what the original size was. So I'm going to pop back to centimeters here. So back to my size. So it's six feet tall. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you now the, uh, the next big feature that uh, I added in, which is the ability to attach parts to the dummy. So I'm going to load in a few parts here. Load in the helmet. Load in torso. And I will load in the pelvis. Where is he? There we go. Okay. So now if I zoom out here, select the dummy, and go to 3D Tools, Attach Parts, it shows me the skeleton uh, of the dummy. And from there, I can click on any of these things and attach parts to them. So if I click on the head bone, which is kind of in his neck right now, i got to fix that up, uh, it pops the, the helmet onto there, and then from there, this, there's this little control here where you can fine tune exactly where you want that to be. So we'll just pop that up there, click here, pop the torso on, again, I need to fine tune it a little bit, so I'll bring that forward, right about there, perfect. Uh, click on the pelvis, go, there, that one down a little, a little bit more, okay, and then click that again, turns that off, and then from there, you can just select the part over here, do your scaling, and it'll update on the dummy. So then you have a nice clear picture of exactly how it's going to fit. Um, you can see how it fits in proportion to the other parts on the dummy. And it just makes scaling a whole lot easier. Again, the dummy, it's still a work in progress. Uh, I plan on adding support to um, scale all the limbs as well as adjusting like your waist size, diameter of all, all the parts so that you can essentially make like a perfect duplicate of yourself. And, uh, perfectly scale those parts and don't have to worry about printing out a part, putting it together, finding out it was 5% too big, going back, scaling it down, printing it out again, and making the part over again. So yeah, uh, that's kind of the, the big feature uh, in this one. Uh, there's a couple other little bug fixes here and there. Uh, I replaced the, um, the UI I had down here with this property grid. Uh, the nice thing about that is that it allows me to add new properties really quickly and really easily. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I don't think the show tabs was in there before. Um, so that's kind of like if you want to have like a foam, if you have a foam build, uh, you can turn the tabs off. Um, yeah, edge threshold is the same as in Pepecura, so it's just essentially kind of adjusts which edges you can see. So if I turn this up to 175. You see a lot more of the edges show up. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of it for, for this demo. It's a fairly quick one, but uh, 
Hope you guys give this new demo uh, download, and uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.